So what's up guys, my name is Smith Perra and today we are going to find the sum of all the natural numbers. So this is the question, basically I have written it down. So now, let us write the question once again. It's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and so on all the way up to infinity. We are supposed to find the value of this thing. So let us say that this value is equals to some quantity s. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that there is some another sum S1 which is equals to 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on. So what we are seeing here is that if I say 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0 and so on if we cancel all then this sum equals 0. But instead if I start cancelling from here then I will cancel minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and you see that all the numbers cancel and this thing equals to 1. So what am I going to write? 0 or 1? It turns out that for such sums, we find the average of these two numbers, which is equals to 0 plus 1 upon 2, which is equals to 1 by 2. Don't worry if you don't believe that 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on equals to 1 by 2, because we can prove it. What we are going to do is I am going to write 1 minus S1. And what will be 1 minus S1? It will be equals to 1 minus S1. What was S1? S1 was equals to 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on. So now we are going to open the bracket and what we get is 1 minus 1. Minus minus is plus so it's plus 1. Again it's minus 1. It's a plus 1 and so on. What we observe here is that we get the same thing as we had written before which is S1. So we can write 1 minus S1 equals to S1. Now this is a linear equation which we can solve. We'll keep 1 on this side and we'll shift S1 to this side. So it's minus becomes plus and S1 plus S1 is 2S1. And here we get the result S1 equals to 1 by 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say another quantity something s2 equals 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8 and so on. So what we are going to do is we are going to add s2 with s2. s2 plus s2 on the left hand side. Instead of writing 1 under 1, I am going to write 1 under 2. It's perfectly fine to write it. So it's 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 and so on. Now we are going to add these two equations and s2 plus s2 is nothing but 2s2 and here we get 1 plus nothing is 1 minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 will be plus 1 again we get a minus 1 this will be plus 1 this is minus 1 this is plus 1 and you see that we have arrived at this point where we are getting on the right hand side 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on. But wait, what is this quantity? This quantity is nothing but S1. But we had already found the value of S1 and S1 was equals to 1 by 2. So we are going to write this is equals to S1 but S1 was equals to 1 by 2. This is from equation number 1. So 2s2 equals to 1 by 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 2 on both the sides and what I get here is s2 equals 1 by 4. Okay, so taking a fresh page, I'm going to write s equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and so on. This is what we are going to find. Now I'm going to write s2 under this thing. And what was S2? S2 was nothing but 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on. I'm going to subtract S2 from S. So what we get from the left hand side is S minus S2. And on the right hand side we'll get 1 minus 1 will be minus. We're going to write a minus from here. And on the right hand side we're going to get 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus minus 2 will be 2 plus 2 which is 4. Again, 3 minus 3 is 0, 4 minus minus 4 is 8, 5 minus 5 is 0, 6 minus minus 6 will be 12, 
and so on. So now we are going to write s minus s2 equals to. We are going to take four common from the equation. So four, four ones are four, four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, and here will be sixteen because eight plus eight will give us sixteen. So we are going to write four, and we see that it's again s. So we are going to write s minus s2 equals to 4s. But wait, we had found out the value of s2 already. And what was s2? S2 was equals to 1 by 4. So now we are going to write s minus 1 by 4 equals to 4s. And there you have it. We have a linear equation in s which we can easily solve. And so we'll have the left hand side minus 1 by 4. Equals to 4s minus s, which will be 3s. Dividing this equation by 3, we will get minus 1 by 12 equals to s. And what was our s? S was equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to infinity. So finally, we got summation i equals to 1 all the way up to infinity i equals to minus 1 by 12. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and it's math love forever.